what is the time frame before expiration to implement a new butterfly? Beautiful question. One of my favorites. You want to look at uh, butterflies that uh, have three or four weeks life in them. A five a five uh, week expiration. Maybe uh, you look you look at the beginning of the the cycle, and the key is where do I think the stock is going at the expiry? That's where Fari expertise comes into play when he talks about individual names and he talks about where they're at in channels, where they're going to, uh, what where they can get to. That's really important because from that point, like let's look let's look at Summer J right here right now. Uh, let's say Fari looked at the stock. Fari, let's say in August. Okay, let's look at Slumber J. Pull it up on the chart. You've got a very tight walls here. Uh, most of this has to do with, uh, you know, we have been a downward move. Oil is dropping. You know, we're like 90 days low on oil. Uh, that's another reason we, we let the uh, reserves go. It's unbelievable timing. Uh, but that's not a proof that even government officials can't time it well. Um, and the first things to go when oil prices drop is uh, drilling. You know, it's uh, tools companies and, uh, you know, the uh, OIH components. The two big ones are Halliburton and uh, Slumberger. If I remember it right, it's Halliburton. Maybe the company, I forget. But Slumberger by far is a big... Uh, Gorilla in the room. Um, now, the, the wall being so tight, it's maybe a warning of a, a explosion in the wall coming. Usually, before it explodes, it, it contracts. We do have slight movement in CI, and you're seeing a very leveling of a weekly CI. So, if I go back here, you know, my uh, I put the chances of here to be based on statistics here, between a 79 to a 95 area price. Okay. Now we're heading up here. This figure has been good for it. You see that build up there and you saw today's action. Uh, now you're talking about what, 30 days or 60 days from now? Four weeks. Four weeks. Four. My guess would be in this range, uh, maybe slightly higher. The trend tells me we'll probably pull up a little bit. You're seeing some support there on the monthly. Um, I just can't get too excited about 98. That's the monthly level. That's going to be tough to get up there. So I would say uh, between where it is now and 95. So 95, right? So let's say here's no more than 95. So 85, 95. So let's let's say possibly 92 and a half, right? So let's look out to August and then uh, 90, 90, 92 and a half, 95 call butterfly. All right, we think the stock's got a shot to get at 92 and a half up there. So let's just buy the uh, offers. So 171 and 61. All right, so 232 is what we're paying. We're buying 190, we're buying 195, and we're selling two at 102, which is the call in the middle. So plus 204. So remember, you're buying the vertical, which is a 9092, and you're selling uh, the vertical, which is a 92 and a half 95. So when you do a butterfly, you're buying the vertical, you're selling the vertical. We're buying the 90s, we're selling two 92 and a halfs, and we're buying the 95. We paid 232 for our uh, 90 and 95 calls, and we collected 204 for our 92 and a half calls. So net, okay, we paid 28 cents for this butterfly. So we did it 10 times, we'd be spending $280, all right? What we're trying to capture is the difference between the strikes, which is two and a half dollars, right? So 250 from 28, 222, we got a chance to make $2,220, okay, at August expiration if the stock closes at 92 and a half or anywhere near that. So think about that, risking 280 to make 2220. That's a good risk return ratio. Uh, that's also a very cheap way to be bullish. So that's what I'm talking about when you think about uh, stocks and you like to look for opportunities to be able to 
uh, put on a position to be bearish or bullish, you're pinpointing the stocks. So when you're buying the butterfly, you're trying to pinpoint the middle strike to where you think the stock is going to close at expiration, trying to buy it as cheap as possible to garner the difference of the prices of the stocks, of the strikes. And if you're selling it, so in this example, if we thought the stock had a great shot to go to the 92 and a half, 95 level, we would maybe sell the uh, 82, 85, 87 butterfly. Why? Because 85 is where the at the money is right now. So let's look at that if we sold that uh, today. Well, we sell it at 530 and 261, one apiece. So that would be 791 is what we're collecting. And uh, you can see uh, the 80, the 80, uh, the 85 strike we bought two of those would be what 390 times two 780. So you'd only be collecting 11 cents. You'd never, never sell a butterfly for 11 cents, 651 days out in time, when you could lose the difference between the strikes, which is two and a half. So that'd be a bad sell. The buy is the buying of the butterfly, very bullish. Uh, or if you thought the stock was going lower, you could buy a butterfly. Uh, for strikes lower, it's very similar to our, our example here. Farley thought he had a stock that was going to be uh, bearish. So it's, it's, a, it's a great vehicle uh, to spend a little bit of money uh, doing these legs, and, and, and you'll see how these expand when you get to expiration week. So our examples in July, uh, take a look at this when we get into the last week of expiration, and you'll see what I'm talking about, where the, the strikes that the at the money are you're going to expand tremendously, and your out of the money stuff is all going to uh, collapse, uh, and that'll be a good example for understanding.